Prince Charles say Harry and Meghan big losers. What they hadn't planned, Meghan Markle and Harry settled in the United States before the quarantine of several countries following the COVID-19. During the pandemic, the couple did nothing to improve their image, according to a specialist in British royalty. Meghan Markle and Harry decided by mutual agreement, and this before their marriage, to fly to the United States in order to live their new life far from the British royal family. However, everything didn't go as planned for the couple who could not prove that they could survive without the help of the monarchy a few days before the officialization of the Mexit. The will was struck by the coronavirus, thus the Duke and Duchess of Sussex had to revise their plans and postpone certain projects such as the launch of their foundation. They took advantage of their 40s to spend more time with their family celebrating their son's birthday but also their leather wedding in peace. They also wandered the streets of Los Angeles in the middle of a pandemic to deliver meals to those in need. But according to author Phil Dampier, specialist in crowned heads, they were passed for real losers during this period and for good reason they didn't take the opportunity to improve their image after the departure by investing more. Meghan Markle and Harry not really interested. They seem isolated and out of the country, said Prince Philip. Author Wise words and golden cafes at Le Express, they are just not really interested while everyone else in the royal family has grown in popularity and played their part very well, he added. Kit Middleton and Prince William, who could succeed Queen Elizabeth II, revealed themselves very invested during the health crisis and multiplied the video conferences under the advice of Her Majesty. They gained points, unlike Meghan Markle and Harry, little by little forgotten by the British. Harry and Meghan, the real face of the rebel couple, deciphered by BFM TV. This Monday, June the 15th, BFM TV is broadcasting a documentary called Harry and Meghan Freed Them at 8.50 p.m., a long format that deciphers the true face of the rebel couple and multiple adventures that led to the Mexit. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry decided to turn their backs on the British royal family, a shattering start that shook the British crown. The Sussexes played alone against the rest of the world. A rebel couple decrypted by our colleagues from BFM TV in a documentary called Harry and Meghan, the Freed, who will broadcast this Monday, June the 15th at 2050. Isabella Quintard, Yervis Corrent and Frank Zeller go behind the scenes of this break, announced with the help of many royal journalists, not frankly pro Meghan. Prince Harry, whose image of the fragile young boy accompanying the coffin of his mother at only 12 years old is all in memories collected escapades throughout his adolescence. However, it was thought that he had found peace in the army, but the Meghan whirlwind seems to have taken everything in its path. When they meet, the royal coats are shattered. The couple appear very demonstrative in front of the cameras and discuss the engagement during a roast chicken evening never seen multiple protocol breaches and very quickly the story will get carried away prince william may warn his brother it's all seen harry will marry Meghan markle the brothers who no longer have much in common move away the sussex couple left kensington palace for frogman cottage and charged taxpayers for the renovations of fundamental error their fortune however largely covered the cost sprains of protocol are multiplying Meghan markle closes her own door during an official evening, manages as she sees fit. The communication around the birth of her son Archie, revealing the face of the Queen's grandson. Just one week after birth, Meghan Markle dares to say no to an invitation to Balmoral by the Queen in the summer of 2019. The break is consummated at Christmas when no photo appears on the desk of Queen Elizabeth II during her wishes to the British Meghan Markle and Harry announce the departure from the royal family and flee to Los Angeles. The documentary leaves a couple in the City of Angels where Prince Harry appears more alone than ever.